This is Twit. Uh, um, I'm from Orlando, Florida, and I, I love your show. I really you, enjoyed uh, Leo being a surgeon today. <laughs> uh, my tip is is that it would be nice. I know a lot of you have a lot of um, people that have been with your show a long time, but like you know, maybe some of the, the like one tip a day about like the basics of oh, using right. iPad, even if uh, you know you got users that might already know how to use it you know just like the beginning he just points like some of the basics here and there for like the new listeners that might be coming to your show because i've only been listening maybe about six months but you've been very helpful thank you bye great tip andrea you're mm -hmm. absolutely right maybe like a welcome to ipad segment where yeah. we show you kind of the basics i we like that, that idea next yeah. week for andrea we'll okay. call it andrea's tip andrea's corner <laughs> andrea's and corner. and people will wonder in years to come are you Andrea? <laughs> Where's Andrea? <laughs> well, she created this many years ago, <laughs> yes. and she's no longer with us. But, um, <laughs> what is, what is, I mean, we can do something uh, right now. I mean, yeah, what do is, something right what now. is, uh, I'll show you a tip. Okay, show me a tip. This is for you, Andrea. Uh, you already know, I'm sure, uh, you figured out that you swipe down from the top to mm -hmm. get, there's two pages, and this is, an, this is actually a useful tip in a lot of context. A lot of times, uh, designers kind of get a standard thing that they all do, but nobody ever explains it to you. So when you swipe that down, there's two pages. How do you know there's two pages? See these two little dots at the bottom? The bright white one is the one you're on. So since there's one over that way, if I swipe this way, I'll get the other page. And now the dot is moved over and I'll get the other page. So there's two pages to your notifications pane when you swipe down. And you may not immediately know that. Uh, it'll swipe down to the one you did last. So these are my notifications. One of the things I love about the iPhone is it's easy to delete all your notifications because you have forced touch. You can hold it down and it will say clear all notifications. On, the, uh, on iOS, if you want to clear these, it only keeps a week's worth, but you have to one by one go through them. But you can, if you click the X at the top of a chunk, a day's notifications, delete that whole day one at a time. This, though, so I gave you a couple of extra tips on the way to this tip, which is the main one I wanted to tell you. You may wonder, well, how do I get stuff in here? What's in here? And how do I control it? This is the, the um, what do they call it? The widgets panel? Mm -hmm. So, uh, oops, let's go back. You have a number of widgets. And if you scroll to the bottom of your widgets... <laughs> I'm activating widgets as I go. If you scroll to the bottom of your widgets, you'll see an edit button. That's how you control what's in your widgets. So let me press the edit button. And you can see you not only can control what's there, but where it is. So I have my calendar in my left column. In my right column, I have a few things. But every time you install an app that has widgets, the, that, those widgets will get added to this long list. And all the ones with green dots are available to add. So let's say I want to add my podcasts client. I press that, and it, it will then add it to the list. But I can even then press and hold. And that's, by the way, this is another convention that designers use. Apple uses a lot of these, this red stop indicator. That's the one we were playing with before in the podcast app. When you hit that, it gives you a chance to remove something. Um, and then these three lines on the right, that's an indicator that you can reorder it drag it so you press and hold it and you can drag it so customizing your widgets gives you really a very nice way see i can see what my podcasts are here of controlling what you see on this screen this widget screen to me is a very important part of ios and and it's something that's probably worth taking a look at and seeing what widgets you'd like to have there and then remembering that they're just a swipe away they just swipe down and you can get to them so how about that for a couple of Tips. That's, that's a good Andrea tip. I have an Andrea tip, too. Okay, good. Um, my son showed me this <laughs> over the weekend. Uh, you know how you can share a photo, the share sheet? Yeah. Um, I didn't know that you could organize which come up first. So here, you know, I can share to, oh. I can airdrop. Yeah, but you always, I always find myself scrolling because I don't, yeah, it's always over right. on the right, so right? So you um, click Scroll more. Scroll all the way to the right for the three dots. Yeah, for the three dots. And then let's say I mostly share to Pinterest. I can turn on Pinterest, which and can see move those, it up. That's, that's that same, same three dots. little icon, mm -hmm. those three lines. But sometimes they call it a hamburger menu. In this case, oh, though, yeah. it's not a menu. 
it's an indication that you can drag and reorder. Mm -hmm. So it's your reorder button. Yeah. So Isn't, you depending know, on where you more mostly share photos to. This is not... It, I'm sure somewhere all of these little buttons and icons and conventions are documented. Mm -hmm. But the problem is they're conventions and they emerge and they change over time. And it's like learning a foreign language. You're learning a new language. You're learning a design language. And Apple has a unique design language. And there, there's no tool tips, no pop-ups, nothing to tell you what those three lines are. Mm -hmm. So you have to just know or have somebody like your son show you. Or you. Yeah. So I think that those are really, uh, those are really, really... Uh, I think we spend more time talking about what are the, what are those dots? What are those, mm -hmm. what are those red stop signs mean? What are, and and why are they there? And mm -hmm. what's the convention? It's like learning a new language. So mm -hmm. thank you, Andrea. That's mm -hmm. a that's a, a great suggestion. We'll take that to heart.